hey man say man what is good youtube it's your boy panda the dark of the bear the sweet of the juice bro and welcome to the channel brah in this channel we talk about waves bro we talk about waves everything wave related um so yeah <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just fixing that. So yeah, we're gonna we talk about everything wave related. So yeah, this is another video. You guys saw the title of the video. So if you like everything wave related, um, this is a channel for you. Suggest a topic or a question you want me to answer, and I will react to it, bro. But you saw the title of the video. The title of the video today: How do you maintain your 360 waves in summer bro in summer bro in summertime in south africa because currently bro it is super hard it is super hard bro like i am even sweating you know then the question is how do you maintain your waves um you know so the the, the question is um what happens when it's too hot and you have your waves out now the main focus for you um is to make sure your waves are well laid and yeah they are just laid man you know so now when it's hot outside you are sweaty you know your waves become you i mean you sweat a lot because it's summer then your waves obviously um it's gonna affect your progress your waves are not gonna be looking as good bro you're not gonna be looking as late um and another thing you don't want to get your waves always sweating and always wet bro because at the end of the day um you'll end up wanting to wash your hair all the time bro which that's not something once you do that then you'll rip your um your hair off its natural oils bro of which we don't want that bro we want our waves to be looking all shiny we want our lay waves to be looking all dark so yeah um so in this video we're gonna talk about it bro let's talk about a couple of things um that you will need right so first of all okay first of all how to maintain your waves during the summertime there's a couple of things that you have to do have to do bro first of all do not do not do not unless it's necessary bro do not take off your durag unnecessary bro have to always put on your durag you see as i as as i'm doing right now my durag is always on my head and yeah you know <laughs> unnecessary um do not <laughs> unless you are working of course but even if you are working probably um before work you put on your durag um if they don't allow you um to actually put on it to have a durag a durag during like your work hours before um your shift begins you must make sure that your durag is on and then probably probably during lunch bro put on your durag be somewhere where you know you can do if 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 you can do that but if you can you can't after work obviously put on your durag bro make sure your durag is always on your head bro and do not even if you go to the gym bro especially bro in the gym like in the gym make sure that you always have your durag on in the gym bro please make sure you have your durag on in the gym so let's talk about things that you will definitely need during the summer bro first of all i think a pomade is very important um if if you work and stuff like that because a pomade helps your hair to be laid right so whenever if you don't have your durag on um like you're always taking off your durag during work hours so putting on your do i mean having a pomade and stuff like that is very important um so that your hair can be you know and then i think even if you work even if you work um you don't always put on your direct you will need a plastic bag bro plastic bag 
have a plastic bag probably in your, in your bag somewhere you know just to help you get <coughs> you know always you know during lunch just make sure your hair is well laid and um, brush lay your 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 waist down with with a plastic bag yeah and then a soft brush a soft brush helps your waist bro to get to be laid so yeah make sure you are using a soft brush and yeah whenever you sweat a lot like i do i sweat a lot bro so yeah make sure you do not sweat a lot bro you do not sweat a lot um make sure that you <laughs> you know you are not always in a place where you will be too sweaty bro you know um so yeah i think those are the things let me see what else to talk about but yeah make sure that you are always wearing your durag wash your hair two times um wash your hair two times a week that's what i do two times a week um not three times uh, two or three depending how long your hair is if mine is short i usually i usually do it two times a week bro you know yeah i usually do it two times a week and then if i'm wolfing my hair is longer then i do it three times a week and then another thing always 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 drink water bro make sure you are being i am um, hydrated you are always drinking water you know so that you don't get dehydrated bro and then your hair will be you know the more you drink water the healthier your hair bro your hair is like a plant so whenever you drink your water obviously you are plant you are watering <laughs> your plants bro you know so yeah make sure you are always drinking water always always bro drinking water um that will help you not to be dehydrated your hair will be looking all silky and stuff stuff like that yeah drink a lot of water but do not overdo it <laughs> do not overdo it but yeah as i said bro you need a pomade always have a plastic bag brush do not take off your durag unless you want a brush or you are in a place that um forces you to take off your durag but if nothing is forcing you always put on your durag and then yeah that is how you will actually um, maintain your ways man but yeah otherwise this is the end of the video um hopefully you guys like that um if you did please make sure to press that like button so that the video can be recommended comments are just another topic you want me to, to talk about we're gonna talk about that and don't forget to subscribe man your boy panda i'm out